Let's talk more about China's electric grid and plans to keep up with increasing demand. I'm joined live from New York by Fred Tong, president of the America China Public Affairs Institute. Good to see you, Fred. So how important is electric distribution and capacity in driving China's economy? I think it's very important in any isolated community when electricity go to their community, certainly you just talk about it, that children have lights to study and most likely to complete their education. But also bring safety, because a lot of them, they use kerosene as lighting, and if you can replace that, that will prevent a lot of fires as well as indoor pollution. But also can make people more productive, because now they don't have to live by the sun's rise and sundown, but they can be more productive and producing sort of goods and services you know, even when, when, when it's dark. Uh, so certainly this is very, very important and also brings incredible change to a community. China is still very dependent on coal for electricity, but it's trying to move away from that. Researchers at Stanford University did a study trying to figure out what the totally renewable energy would look like in China. And this is what they came up with. They say solar would play a huge part if China were only to use renewable energy, and most of that would come from solar power plants rather than panels on people's homes. Nearly a third would come from wind farms, both onshore and offshore. So, Fred, the question to you is, how likely is it that China will get there? Well, most of the world's energy, most of the country, usually use the resources that's at hand, where they have, they have uh, petrol energy or using coal, or some of them using wood. Uh, but uh, that's what China has, and China is changing towards that. Uh, all of these renewable energy, uh, such as wind and solar, uh, they're very good. Uh, but they're not also operating on 100 percent. I'm sure nuclear energy is also going to be in uh, the configuration as well, because that is also uh, it's clean, but it needs to be safe. Now, there are still more than 100 countries that don't have total electric coverage. They're, of course, trying to change all that. So what will happen in the world as more of it comes onto the electric grid? Well, certainly, I think we'll bring prosperity. It will bring security to those countries, as well as increase the communications and exchange. And hopefully, as you were talking about One Belt, One Road earlier, uh, as China expands and having partnership with those countries, especially the Silk Road countries, uh, those countries can benefit from having access to electricity as well. All right, Fred Tung in New York, always great to see you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.